Here we are, Jurassic Creek, North Carolina. I'm going to show you our technique for burning brush. As you can see, all this brush is very, we just have cleared it. It's all very green, uh, not dried out hardly at all. So, so, and it's rained all night last night. You can kind of see it's muddy around here. But what we do, Johnny takes this bale of straw, try to make us a hole in the brush pile. Don't know how you're gonna get any diesel fuel on it, but that ain't the best. And we take, here we got a five gallon bucket, probably got three gallons of fuel in it. And we're gonna drench the hay bale with some diesel fuel. Try to. What happens is that hay bale works just like a wick in a lantern. The fuel will burn out of the bale, but the straw doesn't really burn. And what it does is it keeps this fire going really hot for a long time. And it will get it hot enough to start this on fire. Holy moly. That was scary. <laughs> yeah, I'll get it back in there further. Gash up on it. Yeah, we'll see what it does. Now let me dry my hands on. Ah, get off of me. <laughs> huh? See there. How the fuel is burning, but the hay is not as much. All right, let's back up and see what happens. It helps to have an excavator also. It helps to have a Johnny. That's our Johnny over there. Johnny knows what he's doing. As you can see how it's already started burning up into the brush pile, so. Do what? No, we still got a breeze. Let's see what happens here for a second. If it doesn't really take off, we can always throw a little more diesel fuel on it. But I want to show you the bale of straw that are burning. Oh yeah. It's gonna burn now. Works better than anything I've tried so far about getting a fire started. A bale of straw soaked in diesel fuel. Gets very, very hot. What's that, Johnny? Environmentally friendly. You don't like cars. Yeah, that's right. People used to put tires in brush piles and try to burn them. But that's horrible. I mean, it's just black, carcinogenic smoke. We don't want to do that. The diesel fuel burns pretty clean and uh, burns really hot. And it just does better than a tire or something like that would do. Don't put tires on brush piles. Just don't do it. Bella Hay is the way to go. <laughs> Tell us what you normally do. Put five gallons on the top of it, pour it down on the floor and light it. Yeah. Keep clogged. <laughs> five minutes, that pile's going to burn. Not it, but it'll be burnt down. I bet we're working on this stuff. I think you got time. I just think we're beating him off the pile. I hate a wall on the top of it. I tell you, I down that burn, I'll be on the wall on the side of it. I 
face is going to burn, don't you? Yes, my own way. Johnny's done a good job too. Piling this brush, it's clean. There's not, there's not hardly any dirt in it. But we'll burn that brush pile and these stumps and everything. Then we got another one to burn over there. What don't burn in this one, we're gonna put on that one and burn later. All right, that's how we get one started. Gotta get this little pile of tin in here and move it. Here we are on the upper side of the brush pile. And uh, I think it's gonna burn. I'm gonna see if we don't see some flames pop out here in a minute. Yeah, my dozer's got a little smoke on it. I might wanna move it before. It's too hot. <laughs> uh, thank you. It's a little breezy. In front of Johnny's truck. There comes some hot, some heat out of it now. As soon as it gets hot, it'll quit smoking like that. Starting to see some flames coming up out of it. Johnny's gonna bring those stumps right there up here in a minute and put on the back side. Try and see if we can get those burnt. That smoke's because of all the green stuff in there, all the leaves and stuff that's been packed in that brush pile. But they'll be gone soon. It'll just be pure heat. picking them up and dropping them on top of each other. Technique that works pretty good. I'll walk around and show you just how big the brush pile is. It's been lit for about maybe five minutes now. Maybe ten, I'm not. We underestimate you. It's pretty good sized. There ain't no putting it out now. I say if it gets out the park west off it up there. A little ember on the line. If it gets out, I don't know who started it. <laughs> if it gets out, this video will never be shared. Well, I think I do. Get him hang on with this office. I'm doing it on purpose to play the ball. 
There you can see the fire getting hot. The wind is helping. Yeah, you can also tell we've got somewhat of a breeze here this morning, which is not necessarily a good thing, but it sure does help about chunking the fire up quick. Johnny says in one hour the brush will be gone. I hope he's right. This wind is scaring me a little. It just really flamed up. I had the camera turned off and it flamed up big. I'm going to try and just watch it here for a few minutes. Oui. 